Hi everyone and welcome back to my ultimate Christmas gift guide. Oh yes, um, it's basically the best video of the year to put together. I've had a lot of fun uh, collating these pieces. Poor Mark, he's beside himself. He's like, what is left? What is left for me to get you? <laughs> Poor lad. But we have some cracking gifts for you here. Everything will be linked down below in the description box. As always, if you fancy doing some shopping for a loved one, you fancy like sending the link to a loved one, like dropping a hint, or you fancy buying something for yourself, treat yourself moment. There's something here for baking lovers, beauty lovers, bookworms in your life. And there's kind of something for every budget as well. So there's the real like luxe, bougie purchases. There are things for like 10 pounds. So I've tried to cater for everyone. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I've done quite a good job. So there's kind of a like beauty and fashion section, then more of like a home stuff section at the end. But I'm gonna get started with some accessories. Now this video is actually sponsored by Missima, AKA my perfect everyday jewelry brand for like statement pieces, everyday pieces, they do it all. Whether you're buying something for you, yourself, you're sending a little hint, there is something for everyone. Like the receiver of this gift is not going to be disappointed. I love that Missima are into the whole successories thing and that like real treat yourself moment, like celebrating the successes that happen in your life. Maybe you've had a cracking year. Maybe you've like moved, you got a promotion, you're doing incredible things. Go you, you deserve a treat. I'm very much into that. Um, so many of these pieces are brilliant for every day, but also like Christmas parties, New Year's Eve, Friday nights out, the weekend, brunch, basically everything that you're gonna do in your week from like a Monday to Sunday, Missima has you catered for. So earrings wise, my top pick would be these. These are the Missima helical hoops. They're tiny. They're diddy, they're so cute, they're very easy to just like clip in and clip out. Um, and I basically wear these every day. Like these are the ones that I wear the most. They're just very easy to wear, pair with everything. And they've got that really like dainty vibe about them. Or if you wanted something a little bit chunkier, I feel like this is the crowd pleaser here. I feel like everyone would like these. These are the gold medium molten hoops. These are kind of somewhere in the middle. They're not super dainty, they're not super chunky. And I feel like the size of them is just right. They're like the Goldilocks earring. Not too big, not too small, just perfect. Then these would be my chunky pick. These are the ones from the Lucy Williams and um, the 1987 collection. And this is the chunky entwine hoop. I wore these so much during the summer. I'll put them in now just so that you can see. I think if you've got someone in your life who likes more of a statement hoop, these are a really good pick. And they're kind of like vintagey feeling. So I feel like they work really well for the winter months, but then they look very cool in the summer as well. And I had like slightly longer hair. Oh, I love these. For necklaces, I feel like the crowd pleaser is this. This is the gold bobble choker. Layers so well with every single Missima necklace that I have. Very dainty, very subtle. Um, it's adjustable, so I wear it on the longest setting just so it kind of sits more like there, but I could have it a little bit tighter if I wanted it more as a choker. Um, yeah, just a very simple, classic piece. The in the middle piece is again from the Lucy Williams 1987 collection. I loved this collection when it came out. This is the square cut snake chain. You've got a decent length there so you can adjust it quite dramatically, which is nice. So you can definitely have it as more of a shorter necklace, but also more of a slightly longer necklace as well. Again, it's such a great layering piece. It layers so beautifully with all of these, but I feel like this is one that everyone will like. One of my favorites though is this one. This is the flat curb chain. This is again from the Lucy Williams 1987 collection. It's so cool. Again, got that real like vintage vibe. I'm sure my dad had one of these like back in the day. Um, I really, really liked this one during the summer, but I think I like it even more in the winter. I really like wearing it with like a crew neck cashmere jumper, something really fluffy, like knitted. And then having this over the top, I just think looks Really nice, really cool. I just wear very simple jewelry when I wear this. I wear just this, like the helical hoops done. And I think that is such a nice, like neat and polished look. And then I have two bracelets to share with you. One is the snake chain bracelet. So this matches the necklace. If you wanna go for like matchy matchy vibes. I feel like this again, just like the necklace, such a crowd pleaser, everyone will love this. Or if you want something chunkier, this is the Missima Axiom chain bracelet. It's really, really fun to put on because one of the links is kind of like 
the hidden hook, which is so clever, which makes it really, really easy to put on. Ta-da! Again, a really nice one to layer, but definitely like a little bit more chunky, a little bit more statement. If that is your gift receiver's vibe, I feel like they would thoroughly enjoy this. So all of these items will be linked down below for you. Um, another fun thing to add is that Missima does complimentary engraving. Super, super cute. Hello, Mark, are you listening? I just think, like, I would love a little M, like on a little gold pendant. Very cute. The UK cutoff date for receiving your order before Christmas is the 20th of December, which I think is very good. Internationally, it's the 17th of December. There's free next working day delivery in the UK, free delivery to the US, and fast international shipping, which is brilliant. And yeah, there's nothing more to say. I just love these pieces. They are so durable, so perfect for every day. I mean, you've seen it. I, I literally, I wear these pieces nonstop. The perfect, perfect gift. I feel like when it comes to fashion, accessories are the way to go. They're just very easy to get for people. You don't need to like guest sizes or any of that business. But if you do fancy going down the fashion route, may I suggest loungewear? Everyone loves loungewear. And I feel like so many of us just like end up wearing old, like holy fake tan t-shirts, <laughs> making them into loungewear when really we should be, we should be taking our, we should take pride in our loungewear. Let's take it to the next level. And it's such a good gift to get your friends and family because I feel like people just don't ever treat themselves in that kind of way. Um, I do love a bit of cashmere loungewear, which I know is ridiculous because it's a bit of a pain to wash, although I just machine wash it, but it can be pretty spenny. However, I have found some brilliant, brilliant ones on the high street from H&M. This season they have like all the cashmere loungewear, loads, hoodies, joggers, wide leg trousers, jumpers, the whole shebang. So the only thing that's a bit tricky about their website is it's difficult to work out like what creates a set. Um, so I have two sets here. I will link them down below for you, the exact items. And these ones match up pretty well. So these are wide leg cashmere trousers. Absolutely brilliant. They are so comfortable. I have road tested them for you. I know what a trooper. I'll pop up a little photo here so you can see them on, but they're gray bottoms. And then the top is a hooded drawstring top. Like, is this not just, oh, look at it. It's so nice. It's so soft. It washes really well. It's beautifully cozy and fluffy. And I just think whoever received these would feel like Mariah Carey, quite frankly. Um, it is pricey, obviously, still to buy as a set. So why not just buy like one or the other? Like everyone's gonna love a cashmere hoodie. Everyone's gonna love a pair of cashmere bottoms because you could always just pair that with tops that you've got already. So that's the gray version. And then there's also a navy version here. Again, exactly the same bottoms. They have these bottoms in lots of different colors online. But then this top is like a V-neck top. So just a really gorgeous piece that you could wear as loungewear or you could just wear it in your wardrobe. I've been so excited to share those if you couldn't tell. Um, the other thing that I would recommend buying people are slippers. I love receiving slippers, it's brilliant. Every year I would get a pair of slippers. However, last year I was very kindly gifted a pair of Ugg slippers. I would never have bought these myself. I thought they were way, way, way too expensive. And now I've had a pair for a year I would 100% buy these as a gift if they were within budget um, for the person you're buying for. Like, they have lasted so well. They've barely worn on the bottom, they don't smell, they're not stained, they're not horrible, they still look pretty good. Um, I will 100% have these for years to come. And just a side note, oh, they're there. Look at them, brand new. They now do them in leopard print. Leopard print. I showed my mum these yesterday and she was like, Anna, I've never seen a pair of slippers that are more you. I was wearing these with leopard print socks and also my leopard print jeans. It, it was a look, um, but I just wanted to alert you to these ones because I mean, they're fabulous. And also I'd say that these are a better purchase because they're gonna show stains up even less than just like the plain pair. Um, I think I might have to get my mum the black pair. She tried these on yesterday and she was she was wowed by them. She really, really loved them. Um, so yes, I might have to make a purchase this year. We said we're not doing gifts this year. We're not doing a secret Santa because my sister's not here. She's in New Zealand, but I might have to make a sneaky purchase just for her. But these pricey, but such a good investment piece. A good like treat self purchase, you know? Now moving on to the beauty section of the video. And I feel like I could do a whole video just on beauty gifts. There are so many sets out there, but I've really like, I've taken the cream of the crop. This is my edit of 
the best beauty things out there that are either brilliant value or just great gifts and great products that I really, really enjoy and I know I really love and I feel like so many of the women and guys actually, quite frankly, in my life would really enjoy these as well. The first thing are the Therapy Himalayan Detox bath salts. Have I included these in every Christmas gift guide I've ever done in the last six years? Yeah, probably. But they are so nice. They've recently bought out a new container that these come in. So I feel like this is even chicer. It's brilliant. It's like really nice, heavy glass. Um, you can buy refills in a pack now and just refill up this, which is brilliant. Oh, that sound. But the smell, oh, the smell of these is so nice. So again, quite a pricey gift, but it's the gift that your friends and family will seriously like thank you for like entering it into their life. <laughs> I always love the Diptyque sets. I feel like Diptyque does such brilliant, brilliant Christmas gifting. Um, and this year they've got this set, which I think is six candles. No, it's five. I feel shortchanged. It's 60 pounds. I picked this up from Space NK, um, but inside you basically get five mini candles. I need to show you. Happy Christmas to me. The smell right now is overwhelmingly delicious, but it's got like all of my favorites in here. I feel like this is truly the best sellers set. Like I saw some of the other sets and I was like, oh, hasn't really got like the ones that I really love, whereas this has all my favorite diptyque scents. Um, so 60 pounds is still quite a lot for a gift, but if you've got someone to buy for that's like a little bit tricky, someone who kind of has everything, I feel like this is a really nice gift that everyone will always be really grateful for. So those were like my two star picks. And then I picked like three of my best like kits and sets that I've seen. Um, one of these I actually owned already, but I think these are the best like, value mini sets that I found. I firstly wanted to give a heads up to the Hourglass palettes. Um, I just always think they're beautiful, such a lovely like luxe piece. This was the one from last year. This is the one from this year. I think it's called the Lighting Edit Ghost. It's very cool. It's in like see-through packaging and it just has six of their best selling powders. If you've got someone in your life who's like an extreme beauty lover, um, I feel like they're really gonna enjoy this. And it's not the kind of thing that people like buy for themselves as well, because it is quite pricey. It feels kind of special. It feels like a gifting piece. And whatever your makeup tastes are, I feel like you would enjoy this because it's kind of got something for everyone in here. So would highly recommend these. Then I have the NARS Velvet Rope Velvet Matte Lip Pencil Set. Um, I always include this in these videos. This is from the Studio 64 collection. It's Fun. The only thing I'm not crazy about is the sharpener, which is included in the box. However gorgeous this box is, I don't tend to keep like beauty products in the box, but it is presented beautifully. You get four of their best-selling matte lip pencils in miniature. Ah, oh, cute. Dragon Girl is such a good red. And then you've got Dolce Vita, which is a classic. And then two nudes, you've got Bad Girl and Sex Machine. Um, I feel like the perfect gift for any lipstick lovers out there. The other thing I found was this. This is from Summer Fridays and this is their Merry and Brighter kit. And you get a full size of the jet lag mask and then just under a half size, I think it works out, of the R&R &R mask and then also the overtime mask as well. Um, such a good one for like skincare lovers. Like I know I would get this and be like, oh, how wonderful. These are great for travel. This is such a good hydrating mask that would kind of work on a really wide range of skin types. So I feel like whoever you're buying this for, you don't really have to think too much like, what skin do they have? Are they super sensitive? Are they really dry? There's kind of something for everyone in this mask kit. And I really, really love all of these masks. I would struggle to pick a favorite. There you go, just have all three. Okay, onto the more like homely stuff that actually is more basically like books and stationery. Um, but I feel like this section is where you can really like claw back a bit of budget. If you've got a slightly lower budget for Christmas gifting, I have some ideas here that will be perfect for you. And the first idea that I have is to buy someone a book and why not buy like a really nice bookmark to go in it? Obviously there are a shed load of bookmarks that you can get. You can make one yourself. You could like print out a really nice photo of you both and like make it into a bookmark. Lily got me this really fancy one. It's from someone called George Jensen. I think she found it just from like a gifting shop. I mean, it's a very, very ridiculously <laughs> bougie, fancy bookmark, but I haven't lost it and it works really well because you kind of hook it over your book, push it down, and you ain't losing where that page is. It doesn't fall out, which is brilliant because I travel with my books quite a lot. Um, if I can find a link for it, I'll link it down below for you. But I just think a book of your choice with a nice bookmark is a very cute 
gifting idea and obviously can be quite reasonable as well. Um, I'm currently reading at the time of filming this, uh, Margaret Atwood, The Testaments. I am thoroughly enjoying it. So close to finishing it. But I've written a little list for you here of my five favorites from the year because I did my goal of reading 30 books and I think I'm currently on 31 books, which is great. Woo! Giving myself a pat on the back. <laughs> From those 31 books I've read, I picked out five favourites um, that I think would be good for like different types of people. Um, the first one I got is David Sedaris and that is Calypso. I adored that book. I think that is such, it's a crowd pleaser. I know I keep saying that phrase, but I think you could buy that for practically anyone and they would enjoy it. Girl, guy, whoever. I think my mum would love it. My best friends would love it. I think Mark would really enjoy it. So that is a good, like, if you're a bit unsure, maybe you don't know the person very well, you've got like a secret Santa at work situation. I think most people would absolutely be in stitches reading that. Um, then I've got Olivia Potts, A Half-Baked Idea. And my mum really enjoyed this. I also bought this again for my friend Katie. She was like, I'm crying, I'm baking, it's fab. It's a memoir from a woman who loses her mum that's not giving anything away. Um, and she basically gives up um, being a barrister to be a cordon bleu chef. And it's a really, really incredible story. If you've got someone who loves reading, loves baking, liked Dolly's memoir, I feel like that would be like a solid choice there. Then I've got Taylor Jenkins Reid, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. A brilliant, brilliant fiction book. Um, just like takes loads of twists and turns. My mum is reading this currently. And last night she was like, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I need to get home because I just need to read the next chapter. Um, but one of my best friends, Flora, has read this and really enjoyed it. Um, just like a good kind of a love story, not a love story. Modern fiction classic, it's it's great. Camilla Shamsi, Home Fire. Um, my friend Katie actually bought this for me. Um, and I loved this book. If you've got someone who is quite like a serious reader or someone who is more of like a book club reader, they want like a very thought provoking read, but also something that is still like digestible and you can get through without having to take like five months of your life to read it, this is brilliant. Um, again, one that I think so many people would really enjoy. I think Mark would really like this as well. And then the final one I've got is John Boyne, The Heart's Invisible Furies. This was a book club read like, three months ago now, it's chunky. So I feel like if you've got someone in your life who is like a serious reader, they wouldn't be scared. Is it 700 pages or 400 pages? It's, it's really big. It's a really big kind of chunky book. So you need to give it to someone who won't be like really overwhelmed by that. So your serious readers, give that to them. One of the best books that I've read in a long, long, long time. The next idea would be a little stationery bundle. Like if you've got someone who wants to be really organized or is very organized, or if they're just like Caroline Hirons and like love stationery, um, always getting Caroline stationery is such a good pick. Get them like a little bundle. This is from a brand called The Completist. And I actually picked it up from a place called Papersmiths. There's one in London, there's one in Brighton, but you can order online. And honestly, it was the most gorgeously wrapped parcel I have ever, ever received. Um, so a really, really good one for gift giving. Like if you order it, it basically comes like wrapped and ready to give to your mate, which is great. This is a daily planner that has like a day to a page, but they've got brilliant like weekly planners, notebooks, all those sorts of things. Why not get someone like a nice little planner? Um, this is the cutest little thing. You can put it on the side of your notebook and then it gives you somewhere to put your pen Love that, that was like six pound. Really good like secret Santa gift. If you've got like a 10 pound limit secret Santa, that would be great like that and a little pen so that your colleague or your friend can like put their pen onto their notepad, brilliant. Um, I've just got like a little gold pen and then where is the other thing gone? This is what I wanted to find. It's from Moleskin and they're like sticky notes and they're all different sizes. So you've got this like big kind of post-it at the back and then these two smaller ones um, and I just thought these were a really good idea because then you could always like put them in your planner, you can customize your planner, you could use these just to like write lists and stick them on your desk, stick them in your workspace and it's like a nice little group of products to get someone. You could get someone one of these things, you could get them the whole shebang and it's just a very cute like little organization kit for the new year. Then finally I love the idea of bundling up a apron with a cookbook for like the cooks, the chefs in your life. And one of you on Instagram DM, thank you so much for like alerting me to this, found this online and it's from H&M and it's a linen 
apron and it's got that kind of style on it that's like the bon appetit style and that it doesn't tie up at the back i'm gonna i'm gonna put it on i'm gonna put it on you just stick it over your head and you put your arms through and you basically close up it's got a couple of things on it i've been using it already Ta -da! it's so great it's got pockets on the front it was 12.99 such a bargain so i will link that down below for you i just think even just this on its own or if you wanted to wrap it up with a recipe book i've got five of my favorites here to share with you my number one pick for the year would be this this is anna jones the modern cooks year these are all vegetarian recipes and it's broken down into spring summer autumn winter and they are just some of our most cooked recipes from like the last i think i've had this for almost two years now you can see i've got like post-its in it what's that one on oh charred leek and walnut crostata that was so brilliant um speaking of veggie cookbooks this one is great as well this is the green roasting tin probably a little bit cheaper than the other ones that i've got here i feel like this one is always on offer and it's not too like bulky this is a great one for people who maybe like are just like dabbling into cooking they're still maybe more beginner or they want to give vegetarianism a go again this one is veggie this is for the person who loves like the otlengi books the more like summery like fresh cooking like maybe they're a little bit more experimental um salad feast this is by jessica elliott dennison um i actually met her she gave this book to me ah, bless her she chaired the book event that i had in edinburgh yeah she has a restaurant there and this is so good i mean it's a year-round book but especially great in the summer like we made so many of the salads from this and it's really fresh and beautiful a good idea if you just want some ways to incorporate some more fun ideas for like side dishes and like lunches um yeah really really like this one then i've got two recipe books that are more like bon appetit new york style adjacent um so it would go really good with this bon appetit style apron and um, this is new so i haven't actually cooked anything from this yet but this is the Alison roman nothing fancy recipe book this is like the recipe book that everyone is talking about right now. Everyone's telling me that I need to make her shortbread cookies and that they're great. But I've had a flick through and she's funny and it's just very different. Like really easy recipes, but very like heavy on like taste and just like having fun when you cook. And then this is the Cherry Bomb Cookbook. I haven't made a shed load of recipes from this, but it's obviously beautiful. I mean, look at this. And this is for someone who likes to like flick through books and they like their books to look good and then they make like two things from it but i have made the cookies from here of course where are they whole wheat chocolate chip cookies with toasted walnuts <laughs> okay maybe i should take this off now <laughs> so there you have it my ultimate christmas gift guide i hope you enjoyed it i obviously loved putting it together <laughs> thank you so much to missima for sponsoring this video all the links to their gorgeous pieces will be down below along with everything else that I featured in this video. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you found something that you loved, whether it's like you buying something for yourself, or maybe you'll be sending like a cheeky little email or WhatsApp after this video. I hope you all have a great holiday season. Um, but thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with a brand new video. Bye.